Welcome back, and now that our state has moved into available, we're good to continue. And in this part of the demo series, we're going to implement this architecture. We're going to complete the final part of configuration. First, we're going to download the configuration file for this client VPN. Then we're going to download the application, and then configure the application, and finally connect using client VPN. So first, while you've got the client VPN endpoint selected, click on download client configuration, click on download again and save this to your local machine. Then download the VPN client, I've included the link attached to this lesson and you'll need to download the VPN client specifically for your machine. In this particular case there's a Windows version, a Mac OS version and a Linux version. Download and install the one that's appropriate for your client operating system. Once you've downloaded and installed the client, start the client up and you should should see this dialog, you'll need to upload the client configuration. So go to manage profiles and then add profile. For display name put A4L and you'll need to select the configuration file that you just downloaded. Once you've selected it add that profile and click on done and then you're ready to connect. Click on the connect button and it will begin establishing a connection and ask for a username and a password. Now the username and password are the admin username and password of the directory service, so you set these earlier in the demo series. So in my case it's administrator and then I need to enter the password that I picked. So go ahead and enter administrator and then your chosen password and click OK and this will connect you to the client VPN. Now once you're connected I want you to go back to the AWS console and get one of the DNS addresses and copy that into your clipboard and then move to your terminal. Once you're at the terminal type ping space and then this IP address. What you should see is that it times out, and that's because there's one final step that we need to perform. We need to create an authorization. Now to do that, go back to the client VPN console, click on the authorization rules tab, and then click on add authorization rule. For destination network to enable, we need to enter the CIDR for the Animals for Life VPC, which is 10.16.0.0 slash 16. Now this is creating an authorization rule which will allow our clients to connect in to a specific destination network. And this is the destination CIDR of our Animals for Life VPC. So we enter that, we allow access to all users, and then click on add authorization rule. Once you've done that, click on disconnect and then click on connect to reconnect. You'll need to enter your username again and then enter your chosen password. Connect to the client VPN, then go back to your terminal and this time it should work and that's because you're connected to the client VPN. Now we can verify that by doing one more thing. In the search box at the top type EC2 and open that in a new tab. Click on instances running. Click on CatWeb, copy the private IP version 4 address into your clipboard, so this is the private address, and then open that in a new tab. And then you should see a secret cat website, and that proves that you've got connectivity using client VPN into this VPC. Now that's everything that I wanted you to do in this demo series, and we've completed this video in the series, and all we have to do is to tidy up the AWS account so it's back in the same state as it was before we began. Now at this point that's everything I want you to do in this video, so go ahead and complete the video and when you're ready you can join me in the next and final part of the demo series where we'll clean up our AWS account.